Hello, I'm going to show a quick experiment. It's very basic, but I'm just going to show how a compass works and how it proves that Earth cannot possibly be a sphere. Okay, here's a base, basic compass. And obviously anybody who's used a compass knows that you set the, the net magnetic um, dial towards north, and that is north. North's that way. East is that way. Okay, pretty basic stuff, right? Now here's the catch. On a sphere, I'm standing in California right now. Grab yourself a sphere, grab yourself a globe, and look where California is compared to the North Pole, where magnetic north would be. It's almost a 45 degree angle in through the Earth, which means that I would have to be pointing this like, like down like this in order to be pointing towards, let me show it this way. I would have to be pointing the um, dial like this because magnetic north would be down through the earth at like a 45 degree angle. But anybody that knows how to use a compass, you see the dial, how it raises up? You have to have the dial horizontal with the ground. You see how the dial lifts up? And if you have it pointed and it's and it's not balanced and it's not flat horizontal to the ground, the dial won't spin. It won't work. Literally won't work. So the dial must be flat. That dial must be horizontal with the ground, which means that north is that direction. Okay? That means that it's the same level, meaning the same elevation compared to this elevation, a flat you know, direction. Obviously, there's hills and valleys if there's earth. Um, and if it's the ocean, if you're, you'd be looking literally across the surface of the ocean. Um, and that's how it works. It's extremely basic, but that proves, because of the way the dial works, that... Um, the earth is a plane and that this is pointing towards the center of the plane. Okay. And if you're going to circumnavigate, you can, you can go around and circumnavigate and you can do a big circle around the North Pole, east to west in a circle. And if you're standing at the North Pole, everything is south from the North Pole. Every direction is south from the North Pole. And then let's say you're standing again in California. If you head east or west, you just keep that north, pointing north to your, let's say you're, you're heading east, you're gonna keep that dial pointing towards north on your left, 90 degrees left, and you're gonna keep that bearing um, and it's just going to be a slow circle and you're not going to realize that you're turning because it's just a slow turn That makes perfect sense. What does not make sense is an airplane dipping down and lowering elevation and Significantly lowering elevation at all times to dip down around the curve because that's never been done. It's never been proven and the gyroscope and the artificial horizon instruments on the airplane prove this. You can also put a level, like a spirit level, on the floor of an airplane. And it remains level all the way through flight until you land on the, at the other destination, which is also horizontal and the same level if you're, if you're at sea level compared to the, uh, the original um, point where you left. If you're, let's say, you go from coast to coast and you land on the beach... So it's going to be basically the same elevation and you're going to fly and you're going to land at the exact same level. So that's how it works. Take care and leave a comment if you have any questions about it. And just one more thing. Very, very basic proof. Okay.